Okay guys, so now we're on the computer, let's get started. I'm going to walk you through and I'm going to help you basically find, and it's very, very important key. I'm not gonna tell you or give you links because in the future, whenever you're watching this, it, they may get broken. So we're gonna go over a few important things. I'm gonna show you how to find them. So therefore you can find them later on, even if the links get broken. So I'm gonna point out a couple things. We're gonna go to the iRacing forum first. And in the iRacing forum, I want you to go to the telemetry section here, telemetry discussion. And there's a couple of very important um, things that are just pinned to the top of this that you're gonna look for. You'll notice that um, iRacing has a relationship with Atlas, which is a different um, data analysis software package. And that one, it's about the same thing as Motec. I prefer to use Motex, and that's why I use it. But here are, you know, here's a, a, a thread um, and a post that has a lot of workbooks and a lot of things to download and uh, really cool, neat stuff that you can find. Um, so the telemetry forum is definitely some place that you're going to want to look for um, important things. Uh, more specifically, what we're going to be looking for is the Mu Exporter. So Mew is a program that someone wrote that is specifically going to help export the data from iRacing and write it in a format that Motec can open. So it's going to create Motec data files. And let's find that. Okay, so I want to bring your attention to this post. It is by Peter Chamberlain. And he wrote a very, very comprehensive um, Motec workbook. And he has that posted and available for everyone to use. So if you like, this is also an option. Um, again, you can either search for the name Peter Chamberlain or look for this thread called Motec Project 2015 Master Version 7. And you're going to find some really cool stuff in there and some downloads. Now, there's a couple of key downloads that are posted later on because um, one key th thing to notice is that all these um, workbooks were written for an older version of Motec, which is no longer available, unfortunately, um, or you have to find it. So he has posted um, a link to the old Motec download, which is a good place to start. And you're going to need it if you're going to want to use his workbooks because um, otherwise, all the math and a lot of things are going to end up being broken. Uh, they will not be able to be transferable. You're going to have to do a lot of work otherwise. But anyway, I just want to point that, point that out. That's very nice. So again, that's uh, the telemetry forum. Now we're going to go and look for what is called the Mu exporter. We are going to go to Google and look for that. And here it is. And it is the first hit right here. And it is indeed written by Patrick Moore. And here's his email. And it was last updated on October 16th, 2017. And you definitely want to keep this up to date. And um, if you appreciate his work, let him know about it. Uh, I certainly do because it adds so much um, to the experience of iRacing being able to use uh, the telemetry. Uh, properly. So there's a lot of things that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of by keeping your Mu exporter um, up to date. So this is a place to download it and go ahead and So after you've downloaded the Mu exporter, you're going to want to go and download Motec itself. So we're going to go to the Motec website. Um, in my case, it'll be Motec North America. It's really irrelevant. It's downloads that we're going to be going to. So you're going to look for downloads. We're going to go for software and we're going to go to latest release. And let's see what we're, we, where we are. Um, the name of the software is called i2. This is what we're looking for. There's a lot of softwares here that are for firmware for their hardware. 
but what you want to look for is the data analysis and not telemetry, not video, not power distribution, data analysis. It's called I2 Pro. That's what we're looking for. Not I2 standard, I2 Pro. Uh, it should be, in my case, the 64-bit. And we're on version 1.2.0808. And it was released in September 7th, 2017. So in fact, I have to do an update to my MoTeC um, because I don't think I have this latest update. It's These programs are definitely something that you want to keep up to date primarily because of the fact that they always add in new goodies that you're going to be missing out on. I missed out on a lot of them for a long time because I didn't have it up to date. So I've learned my lesson. You definitely want to keep it up to date to be able to take advantage. So here it is. You go ahead and download that and um, you're off and running. So that's where you can find the MoTeC i2 Pro, the newest version. I'm going to help you look for the old version which you may want to use if you wanted to use perhaps somebody else's workbooks that you want to download, things like that. Then you, you know, in some cases you might want to have the old. So how do we find that one? I believe Peter Chamberlain has a link for one. And I'm going to try to help you guys find. Not here. Back to where we were a second ago. Which other project by Peter? This one. So we go through here. This is the one I showed you earlier. And at some point he makes a mention over the fact that you need to use an older version of MoTeC. Here, the original MoTeC is no longer available on the MoTeC website. I have added it here. Boom. And it is MoTeC i2 Pro 1.0.21.003. And you can download it. Boom, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And the purpose of that is that that way I can start and show you um, the, in the installation from be the beginning, and it's going to be the same even for the newest versions. Okay, guys, so then we are going to install the i2 Pro. Press next, accept. The file location is okay, and we're going to launch and not very good. Okay, so this is the setup wizard, and you're going to see this in every version of MoTeC, and it's going to help you set up a new project. So we're going to go ahead and press next, and then it asks for the project type. Again, it doesn't matter which version, it's always going to ask this. So circuit, drag, engine, rally. For us, it's going to be circuit. Press next. And um, it wants to know a name for a project or your first one. So we're going to call our project iRacing. And uh, the file extension is fine, and we're all right. And this is just to review everything that you've set, and you press finish. And this is how it comes. This is MoTeC in its uh, simplest form. Um, you don't see any data, and you can't adjust anything. You really, it's hard to do or look at. I guess you can look at maths. Not really much going on. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, open up a log file. So you can do that by either file, open log file, or you have this little folder with a plus sign. That's going to be open log file. That's how you're going to load laps onto MoTeC. And this is the first one that we have. It automatically shows up and we're going to go ahead and click it and press open. What is this? This is a default lap that's given to you by MoTeC. And it's a good example of just um, the workbooks and how it comes uh, straight out of a box. A couple issues with this is that this is uh, a real race car data from. So there's a little bit of an issue with the uh, usefulness of these channels because of the fact that um, some of these things don't really matter to us and have no relevance like LAM does. And you have these gauges. They don't really mean much. In any case, it's really cool to see and uh, to look at the layout of MoTeC and 
how they, they laid it out for you. So this is the default settings. It's really nice and cute. Now let's go ahead and look for some laps from iRacing. To look for laps, we're gonna have to actually go ahead and record some. So let's go on the racetrack.